<laughs> oh. And we're back here at the 56th Ladies Invitational, besides Ladies Invitational, here at Suburban Lanes. And we have with us now the champion of this year's tournament, Emily Groves. And Emily, wow, you started out very strong. <laughs> And as we discussed, you really needed to because you were giving away some pins handicap, and so you really needed to get off to that solid start. Right. So how do you psych yourself up for that? Because you can go either way. I you don't. Know? No, you don't. Yeah. You really shouldn't do that. Um, I just usually try and pull against myself, and I'm really focused on what the other person's doing. I just comfortable for me. You have no control over what they're doing anyway, Correct. so you just have to bowl your game. And yeah, there's no reason to get, um, you know, upset about anything. Right. So, obviously I threw two bad games in there, and I was... Well, you get mad about it, that negativity will continue. Sure. Well, you, the, the, I think the good part was you started out with that four strikes. You had another another four strikes in that game mm -hmm. for that 254. You had another four strike, I think, in game three, or... Maybe it was game four and you had three in game three. Yeah. So you had, you know, a couple of turkeys and four, and three, four strike. Um, that that really helps fend off that handicap. It does. Uh, you got to come out of the hole shooting to get rid of that handicap <coughs> difference. And, and you did that today. Right. That was all the difference. And then you're rolling scratch the rest of the time and right. head to head. And so you, you did good. You know, and we told Charlie, I didn't know if you guys realized it. But Charlie, through the 16 <laughs> games, she averaged scratch 171.06, and with the handicap 239.06. And you, through the 24 games, you averaged scratch 196.29, and with the handicap in there 241.29. So the, with the handicap difference, both of you, the two two pin difference. Right. So you're basically. You know, even when it comes down to it, you know, you guys showed why you got here to the to the finals, which both of you bowled great. You know, in that last game, that you know, two twelve against one fifty one, that you know, <laughs> that's amazing. I don't want to bowl against you. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. And then when I had to bowl against her again, yeah. oh boy. Well, Not a good thing. And talk about that a little bit. You put her into the loser's I bracket. Did. It's hard yeah, to I'm fight sorry. back from that loser's bracket. It is, bracket. because it was yep. easy being on the winner's yeah. side. Well, and then I got thrown off, and I'm like, oh, I ended up bowling six days in a row because yep. I bowl in two leagues. Yeah, you just have to bowl so many more games uh -huh. and continue to win those games well, in order to advance. You, you have, do have you to work to come back from the bottom. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so you really earned it. Yeah. And then you you have to come back and you have to win the four game series in the championship and win the final game. So I mean that's a long way back from the losers bracket. I fought for it. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. You, you earned succeeded. It. So yeah. we, we and we talked to Charlie a little bit about both your first times. So we knew we we're going to have a first time champion. We we're going to have a first time runner up. Mm -hmm. uh, so no matter who won or lost, it was going to be a first time. Uh, was that did that make it easier as far as your nerves or does that you block all that out and it's just you just really can't think about that <laughs> <laughs> i learned that after the first time that i bowled in the invitation because i was like really nervous and i didn't bowl very well um so this year i just just try and come in and not think about it and just bowl for you yeah uh, again we, we talked about that it's an individual sport mm -hmm. golf there's several sports where can't really control what the other person does. You can only do what you can do, and then see what happens. And you gotta be aggressive all the time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, when we we talk about to the fact that splits hurt both of you, I think probably hurt Charlie a little bit more. Yeah. But uh, uh, single pin yeah, misses. Yeah, yeah, a single pin. Yeah, that that was one thing. You know, between both of you, you guys have been carrying your single pin spares, and you were missing. I know. You know, so many. You know, especially the. Going down through the ten pin, it was just sliding right off, and you know. Yeah. And we saw a little bit of adjustment <clears throat> with this the pin carry. I think in when you switched for the, the championship game, lanes eleven and twelve versus nine and ten. Did you did you guys feel that difference? Or it didn't really. It just seemed to us like, it, of course, we're watching, not bowling, but. Uh, it seemed like your pin carry was a little better on 11 and 12, and you weren't leaving those 7s and 10s right. 
Well, that was as much. definitely better, but um, I think really throughout the whole entire tournament, the lane conditions would stay the same for me. I really didn't move at all. I really didn't move at all. Stayed the course. One board, maybe, but yeah. not even every time. And you were throwing all great. You know, the so. ball was going down there and then come out of the oil and boom, it went in the pocket. And it like it had eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So it looked like you'd been here before, but you're a first-time champion. So, uh, and not, not even not just the first-time champion, because a lot of people are in the finals, you know, a number of times before they finally win it, and you're able to come in the first time and come and on. Second the year in the invitation. Only the yeah. second year in the invitation. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That, that's that's crazy. I probably yeah. did some of my best bowling during this. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Great. Well, congratulations, you won the 56th Cyrus Ladies Invitational, Emily Groves. She's now going to go on that plaque. How did you guys keep a plaque? Or, yeah. Well, so, no, somewhat. Anymore, oh, you used to. Okay. Yeah. Well, it'll be in next year's program. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Program. So we'll look forward to seeing you back here next year. Thank you. Yeah. And that will conclude our production of the... 56 Ladies Invitational from here at Suburban Lanes. We want to thank Sean and Tasha Ridgeway, the proprietors here at Suburban Lanes, for their hospitality and making us feel welcome. And uh, Deb Mason, our tournament director, and uh, she was able to sit in with us on the, on the final broadcast here, along with Bill Hansen. Bill does both the RAIM and the Ladies Invitational. And, of course, John Kreider, our engineer. If it wasn't for John, we wouldn't be doing any podcast because if it was up to me, we would not be on the air at all. So, appreciate his efforts. <laughs> my, te my technical skills are very limited, to say the least. So, uh, I, I, I defer to John to keep things keep things going on. So, uh, and, we, and, of course, we want to thank... Uh, uh, our station manager, Kim Jenny, who allows us to continue to broadcast this. And, and as we said, all of our sponsors that we've, that we've read during the course of the broadcast, we thank them and hope to see them next year. So, Deb, congratulations on another great tournament and appreciate you, all your assistance. Bill, thank you for all your technical knowledge. Without them, I would be almost as bad as the technology for getting us on. <laughs> As I'm the moderator, I have, I have to emphasize that. So this is Dan Messerschmidt. We're signing off, and hope to see you next year.